Motorola Click with Moto Blur, the first smartphone with social skills, pulls together the threads you're following, the people you're friending, and the posts, links, or photos you're sharing into a single stream that you view any way you choose. Everything syncs from Gmail to Facebook, Twitter to MySpace, Picasa to Photo Bucket, and even Last.fm. No more opening and closing menus. No more logging into and out of sites just to see what everybody's up to. Plus, with access to thousands of apps and widgets from Android Market, you can play to your heart's content. Best of all, Moto Blur backs up all of your feeds and contacts so you never have to worry about losing a thing. Let's learn the basics about your phone, starting with the buttons. To turn the device on and off, press here. Just remember, when you turn it off, it's a press and hold. You'll then need to tap the power off option. Next up are the volume keys and the dedicated camera key. Use it for snapshots to instantly upload to all those social networking sites or to just save a picture to your camera. And of course, the slide out QWERTY keyboard. It's all here. When you turn on your Motorola Click for the first time, you'll need to complete the registration and set up your Motoblur account with an ID and password. After that, you can also set up your phone to sync with all your social networking, email and photo sharing accounts, or you can choose to add these later if you prefer. First things first, making a call. Press the green phone button, dial a number, and tap call. That's it. Select mute if you want to keep your side of the conversation quiet. Tap mute again to disable that feature. Or you can put it on the speakerphone if you want to include the entire room in your conversation. Tap speaker again to turn it off. Tap end call to hang up. Easy enough, right? Now let's talk about the touch screen. You can drag, flick, zoom to view all the customizable home screens and widgets. You can tap to open items, tap and hold to see more options, and all the things that make this touch screen so much fun without opening the keyboard, which I'll tell you a bit more about later. There are multiple home screens to customize with dozens of Android widgets that you can mix and match with the preloaded Moto Blur widgets. You can create, customize, and rearrange these widgets with everything from messages to sports scores to the Gotta Have Happenings widget to weather, news, Hollywood gossip, whatever you want. For example, you can create your own custom widget to keep you up to date on news you want to hear. Start by tapping and holding on the blank area of one of the home screens. Select widgets and you've got all these predefined widgets you can add. Tap news, slide open the keyboard and you can rename the widget. Tap custom, then RSS feed. Enter an RSS feed address. Tap next. Tap subscribe. Then done. And it's all right there, set up and ready to collect the latest news you want to hear. You can also search for more widgets in the Android market. Want to rearrange the order on this panel? That's easy too. Tap and hold the widget you want to move and then just drag it where it needs to be. Same panel or a different one. Let go and you've set its new place. Want to delete a widget? Tap and hold the widget, then drag it to the trash. Instantly, it's gone. But there's even more you can do with this phone. There's a ton of applications that are already loaded on the phone, like an alarm clock, Google Maps, games, and more. To find them, all you need to do is tap the shortcut bar on the home screen like this, and there they are. And it's super easy to find the app you're looking for. Just tap and slide to scroll down the list. Easy access to what you need, when you need it. Or slide open the QWERTY keyboard and start typing the application name. Just like that, only applications with names that match what you're typing appear. Tap the triangle like this to close the tray, and you're back at the home screen. Okay, there's more. Back at the top, of the home screen that is, tap the menu bar and drag down to reveal all the important things, like notifications of your friend's updates, new emails, new text messages. All here, easy to view. Tap and drag the bar up to close it. And I can change my status instantly and post it to any or all of my sites. It's easy. Just tap the social status widget. The screen changes and start typing. Few pointers here. To change to symbols, you press the symbols key. And then of course, for numbers, you press the alt key. And like any standard QWERTY keyboard, capital letters can be done with the shift key, the one here that looks like an up arrow. One last thing, the screen lock. It can save a bit of your battery life and let you wipe smudges off your screen without accidentally tapping any items. Press the power button quickly, the screen goes to black and your phone's asleep. To wake, to get it back into normal operating mode, you just press any of the buttons along the bottom of the device. There's a ton more I could keep talking about, but it's more fun if you take a look around yourself. Start tapping, flicking, dragging, and make your social life a bit more mobile.